welcome to another Friday Fun. Today I decided to pick out a couple of uh, units that sort of don't have keyboards. Uh, and that is, we've got the Artoria Microfreak. I reviewed that some time back. It's a nice, really nice sort of digital synthesizer with an analog filter, lots of complex oscillators. The sound I've got on this, if I just take the effects off, is a sort of... Reminds me of a kind of Chemical Brothers got this idea of sort of like a, a vigorously thumb uh, fingered bass, if that makes any sense, but really sort of filtery, quite like the sound of that. And then on the sculpt, I've got this really lovely distorted harmonic pad, is because the modal sculpt will do four voices. I'd forgotten I'd had this actually, because um, as we know with the sculpt, it can go in a little case and it sort of sat behind something on my uh, instrument shelf. And uh, it's definitely something that needs to be looked at because it is a great sounding little instrument. So I'm using four voices on the sculpt. I know that the Microfreak will do four voices, but I chose to use it for that bass sound. And then on the effects, I'm just coming one instrument into either side of the Ventress. The reason I'm using the Ventress dual reverb is because I can have two mono effects. So I've got on the bass, uh, if I switch it on, I've got this sort of spring, which just sort of uh, gives it a bit more life. It's mono, of course. And then on the uh, sculpt, I've got the Shimmer, which obviously, well, we know what Shimmer does. Uh, even though it's mono, it still brings al an already interesting sound to life. I suppose I could use it without it, because the sound on, on the sculpt is actually quite nice. And I'm not using masses of that, the blend I've got up to about there, the dry signals fully over. So, um, I'm, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else to say. There, there really isn't. Oh, oh yes, apart from we were having a bit of a clear out in the office of the day, and look what we found. We found one of the original Synthsite t-shirts. Now, this t-shirt, is probably, I would say, more than 20 years old. The old font, this is what it used to be called, Synthsite. So I'm wearing it. I've gone old school. Old school with two digital synths. I suppose that doesn't really tie up, but what the heck. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I'm just going to play out. Mm -hmm. 